Well, it's time once again for the local and European elections, and I hope everyone else is as excited as I know I am. Just think, whereas the local elections give you the opportunity to vote for identical candidates who will change absolutely nothing in your local area, with the European elections your vote can change absolutely nothing in an entire continent, and that's pretty exciting. Well, that's not entirely true. There is at least one viable candidate for Dublin voters to support in the European elections, but as, as far as the local elections go in my local ward, which is Ballymun Finglas, this year's freak show was even more freakish than usual. I've been taking a look at some of the election posters which are springing up around the neighbourhood like teenage acne, and I'm going to see if we can discern anything about the respective candidates from their posters. First up is this fella. Paul McAuliffe, he's a Fianna Fáil candidate in the local elections, and his slogan, as you can see, is New Ideas, Living Local. Yes, Living Local. Living Local. Now, either the local Fianna Fáil common or coven or whatever they call themselves is exactly as semi-literate as one might expect, or that local, rather than being a heinous grammatical error, is actually some kind of subtle League of Gentlemen reference, which would make sense if you look at the fellow's picture. I mean, Jesus. This is a local candidate for local people. There's nothing for you here. Also, the new ideas bit is particularly ironic because Paul McAuliffe was formerly a PD candidate, so presumably his new ideas are along the lines of this. Hey guys, you know those disastrous free market policies that fucked up the country, ruined our public services and plunged us into recession? Well, I have a brilliant new idea. Let's try them again. Anyway, that's Paul McAuliffe. He's living La Vida local, and jolly bad luck to him. Incidentally, one of Paul's colleagues, Fianna Fáil colleagues, who's running in the local elections in this ward is Neil McCullough, and this is one of his posters. Now, I swear that was like that when I got there on Glass 11 Avenue. But obviously some public-spirited individual has been hard at work. But this just raises, once again to me, the enigma of Fianna Fáil in Dublin. I mean, who is voting for these cons? I don't know anyone who isn't either a displaced redneck or a property developer who admits to it, but obviously someone is, so what's going on? Anyway, next up is Dr. Bill Tormey of Fine Gael. He's a sitting councillor, and his slogan as you can see, is on your side. Now, it's no idle boast because Dr. Bill has been on most people's side over the years. He's a former Labour Party candidate, a former independent Labour candidate, and a former independent candidate before he finally got one stick by joining Fine Gael and being elected. But you never know. Watch this space, and maybe if things don't go his way, the good doctor will perform another transplant next time round. Now we move on to Caroline Simons. Hapless, hopeless, clueless Caroline Simons of Libertas. The slogan in her posters is It's your future, take it back. Which, apart from making absolutely no fucking sense on any level, sounds like the tagline of a Jean-Claude Van Damme movie. Incidentally, Caroline also has another poster which poses the question Yes, Caroline, I have had enough of that shower, but I didn't come down the last one either and I won't be voting for a glorified stay-behind operation. I can't show you any Green Party posters because the eco-friendly material, and this is absolutely true by the way, the eco-friendly material that they used to print the posters disintegrated in high winds and so they had to replace them all which is pretty typical of the Greens. I mean, at least they've got their priorities straight. They're propping up a disastrous right-wing government, but at least they're fiddling whilst Dublin burns energy-saving light bulbs. Next up is John Lyons of the Labour Party. 
bit of an indie thing going on with the hair there, which is nice. Um, I know absolutely nothing about him apart from the fact that he is a sitting councillor and I assume, like most Labour candidates, he's a perfectly nice middle class chap with absolutely no opinions about anything, so let's leave him be. I'm going to um, skip over the, the Sinn Féin candidates if you don't mind because, well, m my knees are in fairly bad condition to begin with and I don't want to tempt fate, but if you keep your eye out for the Sinn Féin pin-up her posters around the area. They really have been photoshopped absolutely within an inch of their lives. It's really quite extraordinary, so keep your eyes peeled for that one. And that's pretty much it as far as local election candidates go. As you can see, there's really not anyone whom I could recommend to a voter of a Marxist bent such as myself. There's a couple of bargain basement Stalinists, but really all the candidates are much of a muchness. However, I have inputted a specially prepared piece of software into my election 2009 supercomputer and I'm going to ask it now who you should vote for, so bear with me for a second. There we go. My thoughts exactly. So moving on to the... What did you call me? Moving on to the European elections, there really is only one candidate who stands out, and that's Joe Higgins of the Socialist Party. He is the only candidate with a proven track record of integrity from his ten years in the Dáil, which we all know about. He's the only candidate who offers any kind of alternative to the disastrous free market policies, which have been so ruinous to the country, to social justice, to public services and pretty much everything else over the past couple of decades and which are still supported by all the major parties. So for that reason Joe Higgins will be getting my vote and I hope he gets yours too.